Be here on NTV at the Trend Life is our handle on Twitter. Tell us, of course, your opinions on some of the stories that we talked about before. Tonight's show is brought to you by the Infinix Hot 10 T. Yanni, this is a phone. Cindy is trying to talk to Alan as if they know each other from high school. I'm like, Cindy, behave. <laughs> I'm about How to do break do into Jan. How could you? Then he tells me, you am queer. And I now start queer. feeling like a bigot. <laughs> the Infinix. <laughs> Hot and tea. The one thing I love about it is that, you know, the, the problem we have with some of these devices is that when it comes to this hour of the night, right now at 8 p.m., it's 8.29. If you're taking a picture, quatch looks like Yanni Zilla is a scratch to reveal. So it's Guy! Nice. But this phone <laughs> has really good lighting. I'm serious. I'm serious, <laughs> you guys. We all look like we were born in... Mm. Mexico. ID pictures. Cindy, we all look like point yeah. fives on this phone in uh -huh. terms of like how the lighting hits us. You know, and you want a phone that's naturally like that. So we're going to be talking more about that phone as the show goes on as we talk a bit about football. Now, Gabonese player Glor Kanga, sorry, is reportedly under investigation by the Confederation of African Football, that is CAF, for identity fraud. And the midfielder who has been playing in Europe for about a decade now is being accused of not only taking more than five years off his actual hate, uh, age, sorry, but also at age. <laughs> age, sorry. I mean, but, I'm uh, ni wache, ni wache. <laughs> but also falsifying his nationality. Officially, the footballer is uh, 30 years old and was born in Gabon on the 1st of September back in 1990. However, however, the uh, Federation of Congo affirms that this is not possible since they know that his mother died in their country back in 1986 and that he was born in Kinshasa back in 1985. So, you know, they say, Ujana ni moshi, utapita. They have not seen <laughs> this football player. Let me start with you, Kwach. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, they say we are living in a generation where people are pro-choice. Yeah. I'm as old as I feel I am. Okay. Oh, so yeah. if, if I say that I am uh, 25, I am 25. If I say I'm 15, I'm 15. But anyway, seriously though, you know in Africa, we are living in a place where by the time you're ripe and you're there for the opportunities, time has gone. Mm -hmm. Think about a situation where someone uh, in Africa, we start playing seriously yeah. after high school. Yeah. So this is when you are 18 years old. Yeah. This is when you start playing for a local football club in your village there or somewhere down there. Right. You play there for, let's say, two years. Right. You are now 20 years old. Mm -hmm. By that time, you're taken by another next level Kidogo uh, um, uh, club. So let's say you're playing for Azito FC, something like that. Akina, yeah. those down there, Kina Kakamega boys, mm. those ones. Mm. Yeah. By the time you get to Gormai here, Sofapaka FC, you're 26. Yeah. By the time you go to you uh, Tanzania, you go to Algeria, you go to Ghana, you go to you know those things. Before you go to the, the UAE, yeah. you are now 28. Mm. By the time you you come to be poached to go to Europe. It's too late. Mm. And you know, a footballer's uh, lifespan goes up to 35. Yeah. After 35, you're wasted. So you only have at least five years to, you know, if you were to go with your real years. That's why a lot of our footballers decide, instead of me uh, factoring in the years I wasted while I was building my career, yeah. I am 30 years old in my life, mm -hmm. but for football, I am 22. Mm. Mm. So that I can recover the years that I lost when trying to grow this art. Right. Okay, so now Cindy, trend years, you're, because I'm 19, <laughs> I don't know about you, I'm 19, trend years. Violence! <laughs> Let yeah. me tell you, Amina today yeah, has just come with pure Me's violence. Mom, 19. She chooses violence. <laughs> you know someone online, Cindy, said on Twitter mm -hmm. that we make Cindy look like she's a 90-year-old with 70 babies. <laughs> and they you said, know? justice for Cindy. <laughs> Black, don't crack. If I told you my okay. real age, you would not believe it's it. It's a whole hashtag. Mm -hmm. It's a whole hashtag. Ah, let them believe what they want to believe. But to mm. be honest, you know, you have to, I agree with the, I agree with the Quatch. Yeah. You know, sometimes the career that you pick and choose, it sort of like dictates a lot of things that you should say or not say. Yeah. Your age... In, yeah. some, in some careers, it's encouraged. Like, you know, the older you grow, the more you have experience. Yes. In some of these ones, uh, the older you grow, they're like, Aya, how has Quatch done this show for eight years? Mm -hmm. He needs to leave tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. If you don't see Quatch tomorrow, next week, on yeah. Friday, mm -hmm. it's because they were like, no, you're too old now. Um, I mean, you're too old. You cannot work here past October. 